Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Victor Garcia, UCS Tutor, and today we're doing nested iteration. Now I wanted to do this with Legos because I grew up with Legos and I still love them. I used to, uh, you know, uh, do the step-by-step -step process and I used to uh, build a bunch of like Lego houses for my Lego minifigures. And whenever I built houses, I did something uh, very uh, peculiar, I guess, uh, now that I think about it. I used to, uh, you know, start with the base plate, our floor. And each time I wanted to build a house, I build it from uh, the ground up. So I start with one brick. I put one brick down. And let's say this is, uh, let's say this is row, row one. Okay, so I'm starting with row one. And now, once I put one brick down, I'm going to put the one next to it down. And then the one next to that one. And then the one next to that one. And then once I'm done putting uh, or doing the size I want, so let's say, okay, I want to make this house four bricks wide. Okay, stop doing that. Then I go uh, row two. And then I put one brick up. And then I go to the next one, the next one, and the next one. And then once I reach that, uh, the end of that, uh, that row, I do it all over again. Another brick, another brick. Keep going until my Lego house is finished. So what I did just there was nested iteration. As you can see, for every single row, I made sure I completed or I reached the end of that row before I went on to the next one. So if these are rows, then that means these over here are columns. And there's four columns, one, two, three, four. There's five rows, one, two, three, four, five. So for each row, I made sure I put down four columns of brick. So I'm pretty much looping through all the rows and at each row, I'm looping through all the columns. That's nested iteration. I have a loop inside another loop. So how would I do this in uh, Java code? Well, let's start by doing what we did, uh, what we already know. Let's just make one loop and let's loop through the, the rows. So we made our for loop. It's pretty basic. Uh, we made a variable row, set it to zero, and then uh, made it less than house height. That's our condition. And then we just increment row by one. And then I made house height three. So that means our house is going to be three bricks tall. So we have our first loop. And this loop is going to be our outer loop because it's going to be the one that holds the other loop inside of it. And then we're going to do our inner loop now. And this loop, we're going to do four int. We're going to need a new variable because we don't want to confuse it with the variable in our uh, outer loop. So we're going to do columns. And we're going to make it equal to zero and then do columns less than our new variable house width. So let's do house width. And then we just do columns plus plus. So an important thing in nested iteration is figuring out what you're going to be doing in each of these loops. I want to print out my house of bricks uh, inside the terminal. So for all the the bricks in one row, I want them to be on one line on the terminal. So that means in my for loop for columns where I'm gonna be placing the bricks, I'm just gonna be printing out one brick at a time. Let's do system.out.print. And then this is gonna be our symbol for our bricks. Now, what do we do once we printed all our bricks? Well, we wanna move up one row and then the terminal, I'm gonna make it so we just go to a new line when we uh, print. So let's do system dot out dot print ln and i forgot my semicolon over here so we have our code and i just want to walk you through this uh step by step so now step one we start with row equal to zero and i'm gonna just signify row as r so row is zero and when row is zero row is less than house height oh, yeah it's three and then we're going to loop through all the columns. So column is going to go 
uh, from zero all the way to uh, one. So the column is just going to go zero, one, and each time it's just going to print out one brick, another brick. And once we uh, reach the end of uh, this loop inside, it's going to go to a new line. So it's going to pretty much return or exit out of that row. And then once we're done with that, we end it. So we go to a step two. Row is now one. One is less than house height. So we do the same thing before. Column is equal to zero. And it goes all the way to column uh, house width minus one. So column equals one. And it's going to print out a brick at each one of those. And then once it's done with that loop, it's going to print a new line. So we go uh, print new line. And then we end that one. Now, step three r is equal to two because it's incrementing. And then we do the same thing column equals zero, column equals one, brick brick then a new line and then finally for step four row is equal to three three is not less than house height which is three so uh, it exits out of that loop and we finish our code so we should have if we do all this consecutively just a three by two brick house Let's run this code and see what we get. Okay, so we got our the same output that we uh, expected by do, uh, doing all the steps and the loops. And that's pretty much how you do nested iteration. I hope you learned a lot and I hope you have fun building uh, Lego houses. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.